Hello, I'm Surjit. Welcome to a quick intro and a tutorial on how to create an education website template uh, for your school, university or college. This is basically on how to customize a template, a template called UNESCO which is available on ThemeForest, you can buy it. So I will put a link in the description, you can check that. So once you bought that template, it's really easy to build a website for your schools, college or university, whatever. So I'm going to show you how you can do that without the help of a web designer. So if you have a little bit knowledge of how HTML and CSS works, you can simply edit this template to make it your own website. First of all, I will just go through this website to see what are the features and how it looks like. So first of all, this is a header part of this UNESCO template. We have a nice slider on this. So you can add your own images, your own content on uh, a brief description about your website. So once you scroll down, you can see a simple welcome note and you can list out the courses here. And with the nice hover effects you can see here you can add the course details this will go to a course details page there's an also a link for to view all courses below is link for upcoming events and for important dates like you can describe it here so this is a nice stats and blog section and this is actually an instagram widget you can embed instagram here this is a mailchimp newsletter you can see it's already it's a working newsletter you can try this you can enter your email and you can subscribe if you have a mailchimp account it's really easy to integrate it's all documentation it's very well done so you can just check the documentation so this Tweets is also live tweets. It's you can give your Twitter ID. The embed live tweets will appear here. So that's a home page of this UNESCO template. So there are other pages like say about admission, academics. This admission is a form, a research, and other pages are listed here. You can just have a look around this and a contact page is there. So it's almost everything. Uh, is there for an education website there is also a sample page you can see here so in this page you can create your own page like just copy pasting this page you can create your own new pages like services any other courses detail you can put here like this you can put some links here so that will be really helpful so once you buy this template from ThemeForest, you will get a zip file like this. So once you extract this, you can see that files. This is the folder you need to edit. This is the help docs. I recommend you to read this first before editing this HTML because I have nicely written all the elements you need to customize like uh, how to embed uh, Twitter feed, how to integrate MailChimp integration, how to uh, integrate the Instagram feed, or all kind of things, Google Maps and contact page, like so everything I have documented here. So please go through the help doc first and open this index.html in any web browser so you'll understand how to customize this template easily. So actually, I'm the one who wrote the help docs, I'm not actually reading this, so I'm going to HTML folder directly. Once you open the HTML folder, you can see a set of folders and set of HTML files. These are the HTML pages you need to customize. And these are the supporting folders, like this CSS folder contains styles. These are phones and this is images. You can see all images as it's used in this template. This is JavaScript, this is PHP files, and this is source files. So if you know how to customize 
using SAS, you can use this SAS files to edit the source of the CSS files directly. If you don't know what this is, you can just leave it and you can just directly edit the CSS file here. So let me open the index.html in a code editor first to customize. So before that, let's see how it looks. So how to customize this template? Let's start with the logo. So the first thing you need to customize is, the, is to change the logo Let's head over to sublime text. This is a code editor I'm using. You can use any of your favorite. That doesn't matter. So once you open the HTML, you can see that it's, it seems complicated. But if you know really a little bit of HTML, this will be very easy to edit. So the first thing you can change is the title. And saving this file and just refresh to see the changes that's it hooray so first of all we will change this logo so here's the logo so once you have the logo the easiest thing to do is to open the images folder and find the logo.png rename this image to logo.png I just drag it in here just replace it now we have got our new logo so there is nothing to change in the code so as we have replaced the image with same name you don't have to change this here in some cases if you have a different name like university.png you can just change that name here since we have logo.png I'll keep it like this we'll just refresh this hoo hoo yes we got it the new logo appeared quite nicely so the next thing I will do I will just keep this menu as it is but if you want to change it you can change this here like admissions academics if you want to any other page like I'll just change this to sample and saving this now just refresh it just became sample so for now I'm just keeping this as saying so this href is the link so once you click this it will go to admission form.html page so if you want to link to any other page you can just change here like you can see each one links to different page this one goes to about us this one to admission form and this one goes to academics first we will change the slider and we will find the caption here and we just replaced it Let's see how it looks Ooh -hoo, that's it how simple is this the same way you can edit any content let's see we have to edit this one welcome to the university save now refresh this that's it you can just change any content as you like and you can change any images as I have previously shown. So that's the main two things you need to edit. But what if you don't need some sections or you need to add some sections? So that I will show you. So let's say you have only three courses to highlight. You don't need this one. Okay. Let's open this and 
remember this template is designed with bootstrap and bootstrap framework so all the grid systems we have followed is bootstrap grid so you can just head out to bootstrap site to see how you can create grid system so that will be easier to make layouts so as you can see here we have got biochemistry sections history human sciences earth sciences this is the last one we need to hide so if you delete only this only the title will delete but because there is so many details here like links hover the subscription these images this box we need to hide all those so the first thing is to find the div wrapping div like you can see that this div is closing here so we need to hide this just cut this from here just refresh yep it's gone as you can see it's now turned to left so we need to center it we'll just add one class here This is Bootstrap Plus, so you can just head over to Bootstrap to see how to send the grids. Let's see if that's what's working or not. Yep, that works. That's how do you delete elements. So if you want to remove this complete section, you can just remove it from this section this one closes here so in this section you can remove so this way so once you scroll down you can see that you have to set up instagram you have to set up newsletter you have to set up tweets and if you're in contact page you need to set up this contact form and you need to change the map so these things i have written detailed article on my documentation folder so i suggest you to read the documentation and if you have any doubts you can just email to my support my support website is support.surgisctly.in so just head out to this website log in with your envato account and just send me a mail that's it so hope this video helps if i missed something or if you wish to see something else please let me know in the comments and please be subscribed to this channel so i will be uploading more videos like this thanks a lot thank you bye